The fighting style on this season of Iron Fist is just wicked. It's so much fun. <laughs> and just badass. My name's Clayton Barber. I'm the stunt coordinator for Iron Fist. I come from a fight background my whole life. For this season, I wanted to come in here and do something a little bit different. There's an edge to the choreography. There's just a kind of relentless, visceral energy to it. I really set out to make a punk rock song. So we focused on rhythm and tempo and things like that. It's quite a different style from season one. The fighting has evolved and it has changed and it's gotten bigger and better. Clayton has a very clear vision of how he wants stunts to look. It's been a totally game-changing experience. I just said that we just have to do it over and over until you stop thinking about it. You just do it. Clayton wants to see the real actors doing the stunts. And everyone has bought their A-game. Every episode has a standout sequence. There's something coming, Colleen. Something bad. Episode one was very interesting in the restaurant fight with Finn and Jessica. It really established the tone. <laughs> Easy. The Kun Lun fight at the beginning with me and Sasha was beyond intense. We both really worked our asses off on that and it broke us. <laughs> but it, it looks great. It's exciting for me to do that many action sequences to push them to the limit. And I think that the audiences will really understand and believe that action is one of the stars. I can't wait for people to see this season. I just really hope that the audience can appreciate the work we've put into it and can enjoy the fights for what they are. Which is awesome. <laughs>
but I love some of the scenes that they're hyping up in this. But you have a whole bunch of Colleen Wing fight scenes. This is all taking place way downtown in New York City, close to Chinatown. But they did say that all that Kun Lun stuff that we've seen in all the trailers, those are flashbacks. So that's all happening before season one, just meant to hype up the rivalry that's been going on their whole lives together, Steel Serpent versus Iron Fist. But to Colleen Wing fight scenes, she was badass in the first season, so I don't think that there was too much to correct with her character. I think they just wanted to bump up the number of fight scenes that they gave her and the complexity, as well as pair her up with Misty Knight for some Daughters of the Dragon scenes from the comics. But obviously, like, there are a couple of really important female characters this season, including Typhoid Mary. If you have no idea what's going on with her, she's being played by Alice Eve, who you may remember from Star Trek Into Darkness. She's a pretty notable actress. She's done a bunch of other stuff, but that's just like one of the biggest movies that she's done recently. She's an old school Daredevil character. It seems like what they're doing with the character is, is they're using that Moon Knight twist where she has this dissociative identity disorder, where one half is this totally normal, nice character. Like you see her smiling here, looking at Danny. They're probably helping each other out with something. And then the other side of her personality is this crazy badass fighter that has this twist of evil inside of her, like she's going up against Davos. So I'm wondering if Steel Serpent is going to try and take advantage of that because he has a smile on his face here, like he's trying to convince her to do something. I don't know if they're going to give her her special comic book powers. They might just be saying that one half is like this totally normal nice person. The other half is just this hardcore badass ninja who's a fighter on par with Steel Serpent and Iron Fist. They play it really real world, so it's kind of hard to tell whether or not she will actually get special powers because they kind of did something like that during Jessica Jones season two where Trish Walker goes through like this genetic resequencing that gives her special powers that they'll be dealing with in season three. Let's just assume for now that this version of her character will be a really badass fighter, no special powers, because I think the whole idea is that the only real special power this season is the actual Iron Fist itself. I'm still kind of wondering if he takes the power from this desiccated corpse of the older version of Iron Fist instead of taking it from Danny so that you have two Iron Fists going at each other. But you can kind of see the way that they've tuned his fist to be a little bit redder. I think that's just to make it a little bit clearer when they eventually probably both light up their fists and start going at each other. All the scenes that they've had in the trailers where Davos lights his fist up, Danny does not light his fist up. So I think they're being a little misleading with the footage. I know you all just want to know if it's going to be good or not. Like, that's the big question. Is it good? I think just taking them at their word from the footage we've seen so far, easily, vastly better than season one. I think, you know, in terms of how it stacks up against the other Netflix series, we'll just have to wait and see. So just a reminder, all the episodes drop like Thursday night at midnight next week. I'll post my non-spoiler review as soon as the embargo is up. I think that's on Tuesday. And then I'll start doing the more spoilery Easter egg videos and fight scenes and the cool stuff across the weekend. Just leave all your requests for what kind of Iron Fist videos you guys want me to do next week. But just a reminder that that Spider-Man PS4 game is also dropping next Friday. So I'll be doing some content for that too. I also have a non-spoilery review that I'll post early sometime next week. But no spoiler alert necessary. It's a really badass game. Congratulations to the latest giveaway winner, Miguel Angel Ramirez. Please email me on the back end of my channel. There'll be a new round when I post new Marvel. I'm working on some new Iron Man that should post in the next couple of days. But click here for my new Thor Loki deleted scene video and click here for brand new Spider-Man Far From Home. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.